911, what's your emergency? This is a type of call I actually expect from Toronto, Canada. Excuse me? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to 911 Operator. I'm your host, D. 911 Operator, known as Falcon. So, today we're going to be doing a free game map because today's going to be viewer suggested maps. This is essentially where you guys tell me, Falcon, check out a city of my choosing, whether it's your city that you live in where you were born, where you want me to check out, just something random, and I go ahead and look at the comments, and I pick one at random. Today's gonna be Toronto. So Toronto, Canada won the first draw here. This is a huge um, area, dude. I know Toronto, Canada's really huge in general, but apparently the population was two million, is what it said when I downloaded this, so expect a lot of calls to go unanswered, expect a lot of chaos and anarchy. Although it's Toronto, so I'm hoping that Toronto has a, a more lenient, you know, like crime rate than say America. Let's go to Toronto here. And check out what Toronto is indeed all about, eh? Because I'm I'm going to be a Mountie, eh? Is that is that is that proper? Am I being like you know stereotypical by doing the Mountie thing? <laughs> is it? I don't know, man. Y you and me are cool though, Canada. All right, we're all fine. Oh wow, we get police copters too. When do I unlock this in um campaign mode? <gasps> oh my God, we could travel like ballers in police copters. Well, we get eleven thousand to start off with um a free game map. I'm not sure if 11,000 is enough for a giant city like Toronto, man. How much do we get here? We get three emergency, three medical, and four cops, huh? Okay. Well, I'm not going to deal too much with the driving and all that stuff here right now. Let's just go ahead and assign a couple of police officers here, and the marksmanship will place you over here as well. We have three spots for medics, so we'll go bam, bam, and bam, and we have... Six spots for med um, firefighters, which is not enough. So we'll just do, boom. You know, let's not let's put one of, one of the guys here with three stripes with the rookies, and then, yeah, that'll work. That works out fine. As a matter of fact, maybe we do two stripes like this here, huh? Even it out a little bit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We have Chase Gray here available, but there's no spot for you. We have eleven thousand. I mean, not enough to buy another vehicle, unfortunately, but we could perhaps even buy some better equipment. Um, all of you have guns, right? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Do I buy a couple of rifles for Toronto? Does Toronto require rifles? Probably not. Well, let's go with boom, boom, and I want to give that to you. And to you. Anybody else missing anything here? We can use a couple of medic bags. We'll probably pick a couple of those. Uh, maybe even a couple of bulletproof vests. I mean, I'm over here decking you out like you're going to Compton or something. Like, this is like, you know, <laughs> equipment for Compton. Rifles and bulletproof vests. What the hell is this? A system terminal? What is this supposed to do? Provides easy access to the 911 database, which reduces the time involved. Ooh, really? That's pretty cool. Um, okay. L let's do... Let's do... We had 9,000 left over. Maybe buy two medkits and... Two bulletproof... Nah, let's just go with two medkits. Or three medkits. Alright, so we're completely broke here, but I'm hoping that my medics are all... Heal people faster, so it'll help us um, answer calls a bit quicker as well. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Toronto doesn't require bulletproof vests and rifles, okay? It's a fucking war zone out there. Start deployment. Let's start our day. Start duty in Toronto, Canada. Start duty. Get out of here. Okay. What kind of call emergency you have, eh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. Don't take offense, Canadians. You can make fun of me all you want, okay? I'm pretty sure you already do. We have a, let's see, a cost must be determined a car accident occurred, huh? Okay. Luckily, Forrest is nearby. This might be actually pretty good. It's a really huge city, so we're going to get a lot of calls, but at least it's kind of like a quadrant, so we don't have to travel too far, it doesn't seem. 911, what's your emergency? This is a type of call I actually expect from Toronto, Canada. Excuse me? Call ended. Where, where is this at? Do I have to ignore it? That, that's really creepy though, like... 
<laughs> what if somebody called and like somebody was dying when they called me and they, they couldn't utter like a word? Can I go check that out? Like that's actually kind of really creepy now that I think about it. <laughs> like it sounds very loving because you know Toronto I expect them to be loving people as opposed to us down here but it's kind of creepy at the same time. Okay well I just hope it's going to resolve itself. A suspect possibly armed and technical job. So boom and boom and we wait. Alrighty uh, I don't know I tried recalling back and it didn't work so I have to imagine everything is fine correct? Correct. Toronto, what are you doing requesting backup, huh? You're not supposed to be this way. Don't let the Americans have an influence on you this way. You, um, on your bike, come and check this out. You're taking care of that. New call. 911, what's your emergency? So, I've chopped my leg off. You've chopped off your leg? I, I, I held my cousin in the workshop, pushed wood with my leg, and, put, and, and slipped into the press. I'm, I, I can't take it out. Please help. Oh, that sounds disturbing as fuck. You sound very calm for a man who just lost his leg, though. Oh, God. Do you have something to tie around your leg? No, just, just some tools. And an axe and a hammer. Yeah, you probably shouldn't use those anymore. Alright, take off your shirt, then. What? I want you to take off your shirt, tear it up if necessary, and firmly tie it around your leg, just above your injury. Okay. Okay, where are you calling from? At That was a good thing, right? He's got to stop the blood flow, otherwise he's going to die from blood loss. I think that was a really good thing on my part. Oh, God. It feels terrible. Okay, keep calm. The ambulance is on the way. It'll be there in a few minutes. Hurry. Good. I know this won't be easy, but I need you to calmly breathe. Relax. The ambulance will arrive soon. God, I, I... I... I think I'm passing out. No, you're not. Keep talking to me. Tell me, uh, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I... I have a fiancé. We, we were... We were gonna get married in two months. Oh, God, please. Let it just let it end. You're gonna be fine. I need you to stay awake. Please tell her that I loved her, okay, will you? As if, if I pass away here, say that I thought about her. I beg you, you promise? But listen, you're going to tell her yourself, okay? The ambulance is almost there. Okay, it's fine. He might have just passed out, but we do have an ambulance there. Like, it's it's literally there, okay? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. He's gonna be fine. You answer this one, which is okay. Man, it's creepy as hell, dude. This game's awesome. Like, I mean, it's it's disturbing calls, obviously, but it's like, you know, it feels like really realistic, you know? Like, the, the things are acted pretty well sometimes. Hey, look, we, we rescued the dude. We're going taking him back to the hospital. I hope he's gonna be fine. All right, you come and check this out over here. What is that supposed to be? Um, technical job. Okay. Well, you guys will handle it. You guys have been here for a while. You're finally done. You are. Cool. Uh, you're under fire? You need backup. Okay. Um, you down here and you give me some backup. And we need medical transportation over here as well. Spotted something broken. Can you take care of that fast? Because we need a, apparently backup here. There's a loose car over here as well. Okay. Just drop him off, dude. Hurry up. I need you over here. And are you done? Oh, you're, you're going for the backup. Oh, fuck. Too many things, too many things. Stop it, Canada. You're making me freak out. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need some help. What's the problem, little guy? With my math. With your math? I have to do it. Will you help me? No, I can't do that, but I can send someone else to help you. Is your mum or dad nearby? Yeah, but she's busy. Can you ask your mum to come on the phone? Mom! Come on the phone! Mom! Alta, what are you doing? The policeman is helping me with math. What did I tell you about saying on the phone? That I need help. He's only called for me. Yeah, but I didn't need the police. Hello? I'm sorry. 
No problem, ma'am. Is everything all right there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll tell him to stay off the phone. <laughs> it's all right, ma'am. Just make sure he's not afraid to make a 911 call in the future, okay? Of course. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Aww. It's actually a good guy. Good guy police officer. Operator dude. Okay. That's kind of heartwarming. Are you available now? Cool. Come check this out. Um, what about you guys? I have like two calls that are vagrant over here. Injured on board. Okay, are we done here? It seems like we're done here. Perfect. Come check this out. You don't run off too far. You come check this one out. Okay, here we go. Very cool. How are we doing? Hey, good reputation thus far in Toronto. We're doing pretty good. I love how everything's kind of condensed so it's not too hard to get to. So thus far, it's been going in our favor, I'm going to say. Spotted a red light offense. Wait over here. New incident where? Up here? Hey, I got you covered. Affirmative. Technical job? Go handle that. Let's speed it up here a little teeny tiny bit. And we got this one under control. New call. 911, what's your emergency? Um, there's a strange car parked here. Again with this shit? I never have any luck with these, um, parking calls. Where's the car parked? In the shopping mall parking. So what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? There is not enough space to walk through. This fat fucking guy. Sir, this isn't an emergency call. You'll need to contact the proper city services to make a complaint. Oh, really? I thought you at least had to try to help me. No. Nah, not for that, okay? You want my help? Go, go, uh, count your calories or something like that. I don't know, that's, that's, does that help enough for you, my friend? I'm sorry if it's, uh, mean, but you don't call me for that type of nonsense, okay? We got really big police stuff to kind of deal with here. Like, you know, this technical job. Or the dude who lost his leg. Or helping kids with math. You know, real actual problems. <laughs> okay, the last one doesn't really count. But you know what I mean, huh? Alright, let's um actually disperse people around too, because everybody's now in one single area. You come up here if you don't mind. You're done here. You get your ass like somewhere up here. And you over here. Okay, hold up. We got that incident, you call. 911, what's your emergency? That's a big emergency right there. What's on fire? Oil in the frying pan. Okay, I remember this one. People told me about this one. I was told that don't use water on oil. Don't use an extinguisher. I think it's just supposed to cover with a damp towel. Okay, I want you to stay calm. Carefully cover I the hope. fire with a damp towel. Okay. I guess everything's fine. Thank you. No problem, just doing my job. Bye. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Last time I told her to use a fire extinguisher, I think, and it apparently blew up on her face. And people were like, Falcon, you don't deal with oil fires that way. Like, I know, like, like I know this shit. Of course, people are probably thinking, well, Falcon, isn't it up to you to, you know, learn about safety? And you're probably right. If I'm ever in a dire situation where there's a fire caused by oil, now I know how to deal with it. Had it been in the past, I probably would have been boned. I would have been dead already. But let's hopefully assume I never get in that situation. By the way, you're going really far for that one. Can you actually handle that? Yeah, yeah, that's that's way too much for you. You, no. Yeah, yeah, you turn it around. I guess this is like a one-way highway, huh? Uh, we'll wait over here. And we have this fella here. Speeding across. Go, go grab him, huh? Go grab him. How's everything else looking? Pretty good. We're at 30 reputation. You know what? This has been going pretty good in Toronto. We've had a lot more luck here than we did in um, Breaking Bad Country last episode. Spotted a drunk driver. Is that the one you're dealing with? You got him. Cool. Um, Once you're done with that, come and check this out. You start working on that now. What is this one supposed to be? Injured and a suspect. Okay. We have another call. 911, what's your emergency? Hello. I've seen a fire. Can you do something with it? You've seen a fire. You just saw it somewhere. You're just walking by one day. It's kind of like, oh, I see a fire over there. What's burning, ma'am? I don't know. It's probably a living room. What's the address you're calling from, ma'am? In front of... Could you be more specific, ma'am? Uh, is the room in a house or an apartment? The fire is in an apartment mm -hmm. building. That's actually pretty dangerous. Is the fire spreading? I don't think so. So, how big is this fire? The flames are huge. They're shooting into the sky. It looks really scary. Okay, I'm sending the fire department right now. Good. 
Bye. Yeah, that sounds pretty dangerous. So what, what is this one down here? Okay. Um, I think both of you guys are dealing with this one first, right? So you are going after that guy? Look, turn it around and come over here. You go after that. You give him a hand if you have to. And then you pull from here. A new incident. Um, medical emergency. You come on down over here. We might need some uh, medical assistance as well for that fire. But, you know, one step at a time here. We should be cool here, right? Spotted vehicle theft. You got it though, right? Should be working on it. We're almost done with our day two. You know what? Not too bad for Toronto. We got 32 reputation. Not too bad at all. I feel like we've done pretty good on every call this far. What is this one? Four suspects. They're being too loud. They're just being really rowdy out here. You're done there? Great. Um... Once you're done reporting, come and check this out. Affirmative. And bring your bro with you, because there's four of them. You might need more room for the arrest. Criminals in prison. Yeah, you put their ass in prison. No due process or anything. Just straight into prison, huh? Uh, what do we have here? Another one of these double calls. We have a call, too? Okay, okay. okay stop. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? There are some guys here fighting. Can you do something about it? Did you see if they had any weapons? One of them picked up some kind of club. Can you give me a precise address of the incident? Yes, of course. It's at... Alrighty. Any injured? Is anybody injured? I don't think so. They've just started and they're mostly shouting and pushing each other. I'm sending emergency services right now. Thank you. Bye. Alright, and we're done with our day here, so that should be the last one that we're dealing with here right now, so anybody on this one? We are ready. Affirmative. Doesn't seem like it. I'm listening. Both of you up here, you're under fire and need backup. Are we almost done with this one here? Because if we are, we could probably send some backup from this little group. Alright, come on, speed it up. Bills were given, okay. Are we done here? Come on, they need some backup and we have this one to deal with too. Uh, let me send you down here for now. You're available? Give me some backup. As a matter of fact... Oh, actually, no, no, you should come over here now. Under fire, never mind. Got it? You down here. Alrighty, that should be it. I think we got everything in Toronto, man. We did pretty goddamn... Oh! Isn't, why isn't everybody down there? You're still under fire? Okay. Toronto, I'm very upset with your, your, your use of violence here as of late. How's this coming along? Resolved. Very good. All right, that was Toronto, Canada. So, the singer was ignored. I got negative six for ignoring a singer. That was the guy who called with the, I just call. I don't know why I got a negative six, because I, I hung up and I redialed to make sure there was no emergency. And I don't think I got like in a, a, a location on the map to find where that was at either, to check it out just in case. That could have been something really bad, I'm telling you. It was kind of creepy a little bit. It sounded like somebody was committing suicide, or somebody was getting killed, or last-ditch effort to call the police, but they couldn't get any words out. It was actually kind of creepy when you think about it. But overall, we got a 49 reputation, which is pretty good. We got 50,000. Robert Diaz and Adrian Nelson were injured, but otherwise pretty good. And that was Toronto, guys. So as I mentioned, keep leaving your cities in the suggestions down below in the comments. I will pick some at random and do some more in free game. We'll also continue checking out campaigns, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like. I will catch you next time.